in your moment of glory. It's do or die time, and they go back to old comforts. Oriana for Froggen. By far his most played champion. His sixth game, Maybe second minion dying, and you're there for the rest of it. That is not what Johnson got, but it's what Apollo gets. Exactly. The, the cannon not only does it take way more Dignitas from the turret. still feeling comfortable enough to go for the Drakes. This was, again, talk about the fact that Soaz seemed to be winning the matchup one-on-one, -on -one, but the jungler comes down, and top laner comes over, and that is second Drake picked up for Dignitas with no contest. So they're just going to trade first tower. That is the answer here from Immortals. Okay, giving up that second dragon. They're saying we want the gold now instead. They will be able to get it very low, but not knock it down just yet. Still, that is four plates, though. Aka could be in some trouble. Yeah, and there's some damage going back towards the Olaf, but during the ulti, obviously not a lot going to threaten you. Can't be knocked up into the air. But right now, though, that top lane turret is very, very tanky. It's defense now for Dignitas, but very slowly, but surely that turret will lose all of its health. You can see they're uh, just grouping up. The ult is going to pull turret aggro onto him. They're going to get rooted in place. The turret's dead first, though. So that is, as you mentioned, first turret going over Immortals up about break play. Dignitas have to imagine they would like to get third Drake and be on soul point for now, though. Just dancing back and forth, playing for mini wave control. I like the idea from Immortals. I thought they were just going to drop the rift and then charge straight towards that dragon and do it. But it didn't really work out that well. They do eventually knock down that turret, though. And with Huni up on the top side, Dignitas just saying, all right, we're just going to give it up. We're not even going to risk fighting for it. They kind of know that they are Dignitas from getting to theirs. And this feels like the payoff from some of the early game plays that Immortals made. They had uh, a lot of pressure on its top side to go for Rift Herald. We'll, we'll see if they can actually get it back. And if we will get the first fight of the game here around Dragon, is both teams are playing with a little Ooh. bit of that hesitancy. Okay, and onto Smithy. Double knockups are there, but he's channeled the E. He's very tanky now on the front side. They might knock down the Olaf. He's got to run away. Akinia really stays alive. First blood comes in for Frog and not to beat his own record from before. Uh, top leaner if it is needed. The smite should not be a problem, and it is grabbed. Dignitas are on soul point. Man, she's never just come up. But Johnson in trouble. Nice flash. He has to play. Flash. Okay, okay. Maybe there's still a bit of a play to be had then as Johnson's not going to easily be in this fight. It's Smithy going to tank in the front side. A lot of damage here to Afu has burned the stone plate, but they're just going to keep trying to push him down to pick that kill up. A big root on a three, though. Yeah, is the on to guarantee there's no smite fight? Like, that feels comfortable. It's not bad, for sure. I guess the worry is maybe about how good the engage is on Immortals. Ken, Aphelios, and Oriana stay safe, but it is going to be a fight. About to find one right now. A lot of burst damage coming in. Huni not able to open time to get away from anything. Gets taken out by the Ezreal. Actually going to drop as well. And suddenly it so is He's just not able to get himself in a good position. Froggen maybe looking for an angle of a shockwave here. Double shockwave is pretty good. Not a ton of damage in the jungle. But they're going to re-engage this one. And there is no way out. John's going to drop. Gil's not going to do enough. Acadian can't find the kill either. He's going to try to run for dear life. But he's slowed. Could be not. Actually get over here and contest this. Another dragon going to Immortals. But he's still trying to scale up, but it doesn't seem like he's gotten anything good to do so far this no. game. Four to one so far in kills. And Smithy takes some poke. Afro moves gonna go in for the Q. And the Eagle's the wrong way. This could absolutely be a kill. Yes, they will knock down Smithy. That is a big kill picked up. They can see the teleport on the side. Could look for something. Gonna have to see how fast this goes down. Johnson and Hootie will kill it fast. Has Shockwave, ult tags three, Akadian getting low. He's got to be respectful. They're going to find a root. They're going to find a little bit, but Aka gets pulled right back in. Here comes the re-engage. So much damage to the back line. Akadian, first ult, Apollo. That was right on the mark, and a second kill comes Mortals through. Mortals putting them much further ahead. And the timing here is pretty crucial. It's still a minute till the Drake spawns. If that red eight, they can't stop this. Digatoss can let it go to three Drakes apiece. Top lane being pushed in very, very slowly, but an easy recall for Soaz can defend that one. Aka off the side, able to able, able to easily clean up. Contributor. You know, even taking down Team Liquid in both of the games that they played against them, I think was really impressive as a result, and they are in full yeah. control of this. I think it would be nice if they could get a lot done, but given that they didn't get that much done with the Baron buff, I'm not sure how much of an ability they are going to have to push, but looking for a kick here on Huni. Smithy can just kite this out. He has the stone plate. His team is stacking up here, ready to take down Hootie when he comes out. 
Then he lands some auto attacks and he just gets deleted. Smithy is on the board for the first kill of the game. Like it's it's about the same, by the way. Facing uh -huh. C9 first round feels like starting lower bracket anyway, but regardless, things to look for. Uh, upgrades to be had. Huni again oh getting caught. Look at how far. Has to flash. He's dead anyway. There's no way out. Gets you yeah. one quarter of the gold lead back. Ocean Soul is forever, and uh, yep. it does feel a bit safer. Here comes the TP, and once again, a five on five. And Acadia and the Afro on the front line. Huni running around the side. Look at the health points go away. He's just instantly dead if there's an ult to be had. Not quite in range. Ezra nearly takes him down, but that is not a fight. There's the Pantheon Ultimate. <laughs> there it is. It's Smithy <laughs> finally shows up. And this is the game that will knock Here comes so as playoffs. It'll knock Dignitas out of playoffs. A knock up onto one. Froggen's running for dear life stays alive. And here comes the re-engage. Goodbye to Afro move. 5v3. Chase on in. Shockwave on three. Does a little bit. He was just saving the ulti for later. Take <laughs> down Hooney. There's so. only two horses for Team Dignitas. Only but two horses. It, will it is going to be the Baron take here. At regen. They are regening a little bit over time and it's getting burned down. Here comes Dignitas. Apollo is still hitting. Acadian, Acadian has, has, flash. has flash. Okay, so as takes plenty of damage. He's getting quite tanky. Over the wall they go. Ults hit several. Acro oh, wave. Shockwave! Shockwave onto a whole ton of them. They get the jungler and so as he's regening. He's pulled back in and he will go down. A double kill somehow for the support. The Fellas holding the back line gets a couple and it's been oh, answered. Graphics popping up. Those animations yeah. of the spells in, in spectate through. it's really easy to see it i think most of those are cleaned up in first person but here we go the knockup is again found after you tanking the front line but not as tanky as the top laner he's gonna be running down just barely getting away the old that's not gonna land you gotta be kidding me apollo you gotta land those it would have been the, the elder dragon they know what's happening but it's still at 9,000 health here comes the walk forward. Stone plate still down. After is pretty squishy. Finds the front line. Aftershock is on. That's going to fall off. And now it is a very squishy Nautilus. He doesn't have good ways of surviving any further fights. Smithy still tanks up the dragon. Aiken, nice poke on the side. Hits two. And Aftershock only at 1,000 HP. The longer this goes, the better for Immortals. They still have that regen. Getting health and mana back. Even the spells, right? They can spend the mana. They get that back as well. It's not a huge problem. Froggen, up right in the wings. Almost finds Aiken. The top lane turret died, so they actually lost that inhibitor tower. It does look like the wave, thankfully, for Dignitas will be pushing out, so they shouldn't just lose straight up inhibitor, but with Zoa is actually pushing in bot lane, Immortals can just keep delaying this because that bottom lane wave will eventually push and take an inhibitor if both teams are just staying 5v5 around here, and it's Soa is actually running yeah. down. He actually looks like he wants to just go for the inhibitor. They're moving the team. They're moving the team to go for the base right now. You can see the whole squad has dropped off the dragon and they're going to be first to play. Instant recall come in. Okay, a turret dropped in mid lane for Huni. That's cute and everything, but that's recall. Stop. That is no one going back to base right now and they're going to be inside the base. That inhibitor is always going to die. That is dead every single time. That's more map control. The Gintas finally getting back, but Apollo's cheating forward. He's going for Nexus turrets right now. He is with the squad. Gintas can't quite rejoin the fight. They are slow to walk over. Another turret falls in mid lane. That's at least some gold in the pocket, which doesn't mean very much anymore at this point in the game, but they've again reassessed. They've grouped back together. 10,000 health on Elder Dragon. Mid still being pushed down right now, and Dignitas now might have a little bit of control. You're seeing Immortals have to take some recalls back. They're trying to hide in Fog of War, trying to figure out exactly what they can do, and now Dragon has started yet again. It's now Dignitas's turn to try, and they know a Shockwave combo outright ends the game in a lot of these cases. 8,000 health on Dragon. Dig are not stopping, and Apollo is going for the push. They're not going for the fight. The smite is only thing that matters. Who's going to grab it? And it's picked up by the red squad. It's Acadian grabbing Elder Dragon. There's the fight over the top. And Huni is fighting Smithy. Elder Dragon burn takes down one. And Dignitas. They're spying the time, though. Before. But yes, Apollo is in the base. He's killing turrets right now. So is so tanky. One turret is dead. The second one being attacked right now. As the Mordecai is already dead. And so is getting away just barely. But they have sent the recalls. There's two on defense able to stop this. They found that first slow. Apollo is taking axe after axe after axe the flash to chase down do they have the rest that they need the elder dragon is on but it's not enough for a kill it is a one from ulting smithy for a smite fight nothing's going to stop that as long as you can press r on the right target it's an uncasted smite hakuo being caught out by the way ult's going to come across on a so as he can immune the knock lane. wow look at the damage available froggen has the damage to kill a Paco. 50 seconds the baron being hit and huni if he tps in does have the ult it's smithy's over the wall look at the poke back and forth health bars better on a mortal side but the team fight champion seems stronger for dignitas more damage towards so as shockwave back in this could be the damage to kill him not quite enough they're gonna trade mid laners not quite aka staying alive can't get over the top can he find what he's looking for the shutdown comes in for the belly as he's stunned up but where's the rest of the damage Nick smithy is left alone a canyon kiting him away and 
And do you believe it? A triple kill comes in for Johnson, kiting out the squad. Only Apollo left alive in mid lane is in too neutral a state to do anything with. I can't believe it, Dignitas. Keeping the dream alive here. Bad was actually just trying to split push here. They're going to leave Johnson and Acadian to attack the base. 40 second respawn. They see Hakpo. They know where Ezreal was. Do they stop his recall? No, his TP comes in. He's able to get back to the base. They can 2v2 defend this. They see he's back down there. They can probably guess it was the teleport, being that he had no home guard as he came across the map. That is going to be the turret still dropping, though. And Akita and no feel comfortable to win the two on two. They will drop at least inhibitor, but then they will back off. Even with 15 seconds, have a way of actually dealing with the flash ult out of Akita. There are no safety tools for him. So that pick is theoretically available. The respawns have come in. And Dignitas and now going to try to answer the turret score. For now, Soas is holding the top side. He's pushing back Super Minions and going towards an open inhibitor. With the Baron buff, of course, no one's going to defend this. Still a minute left on this Baron power play. And then 30 seconds after that drops, Elder Dragon respawns. Dignitas pushing the bottom side again with the fact that Orn is top lane. They know there isn't defense to be had. Open inhibitor in the bottom side. Huni. Uh, walks away to take the red buff, grabs that one, comes back to the squad. Johnson's got to be a little respectful of the fact that he's going to get hit by some skill shots here, knocked up, hit by Ezreal as well, but there's no follow through. No ult come down. Aka never pressed R onto him. That feels like that could have been a target though. Phantom Dancer Shield makes the dragon burning down quickly. Smithy has all the tools to get Go in. He's got it. smite, he's got flash, he's got to try. Who needs to spot him? He's going to flash, he's got to get the ult, he gets it off. That's an easy smite. Oh, it was early, but they still pick it up. And now Smithy can't get out. Huni can isolate this jungler. Smithy cannot get away from this one without ulting, and that's not going to happen. That is an easy kill to pick up, but they're already fighting the other side. Johnson is dominating, picking up one. Smithy trying to cut away. He can't possibly leave from this one. Doesn't have the flash pulled back in yet again. The TPs come in to get back to the base, so as going to try to wave clear. It is 5v3 on the map right now. Jungler and support missing for Immortals, but Apollo's pushing in mid with Aka here as well. They're going to knock down the middle inhibitor. When can Dig get back? They've pulled back two. They've got the two solos. Aka has ulti. Carry. And what if they have the damage? We know Froggen has no Zonius. Theoretically, the first could be there. They're going to try. Froggen gets low. Hootie's gone. Akadi's back in the map. Here comes the 1v2 underneath the turret. So they have the damage stop. So as he finds the stun and he walks back. So far, he's being slow. The turret's being attacked. He's going to keep trying, though, to push back Johnson. But the wave is still coming down. And so as pushed off. The TP can't come in in time. That Nexus will not live. Ding the toss. Keeps the hopes and dreams alive. And gets the seventh win. What a crazy.